And when I found myself in Denver um, with uh, 15 years as a journalist under my belt and I was looking around wondering what's going on here that it really captures my heart and my attention, um, immigration was probably the first thing um, that occurred to me to want to write about. I didn't have the, the wisdom or the brilliance to think, oh, it'd be great to find four young women who represent every point on the immigration spectrum, but it just happened that I came across these four young women when I was interested in this subject. Like She clearly explained to us that she understood what the girls went through in. Well, I think, I mean, we're all Hispanic here, so it would affect us, it will affect us eventually because we all plan on going to college. Wow. And the way that she told it with the juxtaposition between the two girls who had legal documents and the two girls who did not, uh, I felt was a much more compelling way to tell the story than to just choose one girl that was an illegal immigrant, whether by choice or not. What I think is amazing is that even facing these kinds of obstacles, they went on to lead pretty extraordinary lives. That most advanced classes are like mostly Americans and not very much Hispanics. Like in our school, you can see that too. So like sometimes a lot of advanced classes don't have a lot of Hispanics, so that would relate to us. I came into that book with very preconceived black and white notions about the immigration issue. And it is very complex. The suspense over what is this incredibly bright young person going to do and how is she going to figure out this incredible challenge that life has um, put in her way is kind of what uh, makes the book suspenseful and makes you want to keep turning the pages.